hey guys so today i wanted to do a video on how i cope with depression and anxiety when it comes to like school work and like relationships and all that type of stuff because i know our minds can be very overwhelming especially at the age that we're at right now uh, most, most of the people who watch me are my age so like 20 19 younger than that or maybe older but yeah so I don't really have a list at the moment I just kind of I'm kind of just gonna go off the top of my head the things that I know I do when I need to calm down because I used to have really 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 bad anxiety to the point where I was having panic attacks like every day and you know I didn't get it till I think I got it my senior year of high school and it got really bad but I've learned how to cope with it now sometimes I still kind of like get really anxious but we're all human like I'm not perfect I'm gonna have it every once in a while I know that so one of the things that I do is I like to read inspirational things like things that are gonna motivate me to basically get my life together and like you know things that are gonna motivate me to like keep going or you know things are like saving money or like things that basically like something that's going to help me plan out my life and what's next so that i won't keep thinking of the future and thinking of like things that i need to do i'll just you know i'll know that i have to do it so one of the books i'm reading right now is destiny by td jakes it's a really good book it's basically like every two pages it'll give you like like scriptures from the bible and like things that's helping you like reach your destiny so it explains things like <clears throat> like how to i don't know like how to keep going like one of the things is keep the right company and then it'll like explain things from the bible that's like explaining why you should keep the right company and how that's going to get you towards your destiny and then it gives you this one gives you like a little prayer at the end of it so this one says, God, my companion, give me the audacity to align myself with wise destiny seekers and the, the courage to limit my time and with drifters. <laughs> Had a problem reading that. But yeah, it's like, it's a really good book. It keeps me going. Um, Another thing that I do is not overthink. I know I overthink a lot. Like I do have a problem with that. But I noticed that when I train myself to stop overthinking, like when I hear something, like when, not when I hear something, when I think something that's really negative and then I'm like, sometimes I'll dwell in it and kind of sit there and keep thinking about it and thinking about it. But when I, I noticed that when I stop myself, like the first few seconds into overthinking, it's like training myself not to overthink anymore, to limit my thoughts, you know, limit the negative thoughts, I guess you can say. And another thing is like, not letting things or people and their energy control your energy so not letting their negativity or their negative minds control you because that can rub off and that's another reason why you should keep good company you can't really keep company around you that's toxic or people who are so negative because then that starts to affect you too um another thing is i do pray a lot like i pray a lot and i believe that like praying and like acting on that prayer it really helps you and that's one thing that i've been doing a lot lately i have been you know i've just been going through a lot with school and stuff in life but i notice that when i pray and i trust god and you know continue to be faithful to him and like what i need to do with my life like acting out on faith like if i need a job I, of course if me just sitting around is not going to give me a job so you know applying to jobs or like if you're trying to get in school apply to school or, you know, like, things like that. Like, if you want more friends, the way you're going to meet friends is if you go out and actually act out, act out on that. Um, that's another thing I like to do and I think really helps. Um, another way I cope with anxiety and depression. Um, when it comes to, like, anxiety attacks, I don't know if many of you have anxiety attacks, but when I used to have them, um, the main thing I would have to do was focus on my breathing. So, like... I know like with the anxiety attacks it's like you're you're rapidly breathing but you in that moment it's like a lot going on but I did um I would have to slowly breathe like keep in and out you know like 
just slow it down because I it would get to the point where I was breathing so fast like I would just feel like I was about to faint like it was horrible but focusing on your breathing breathing slow um increasing the positive thoughts like I said before like increasing that and depression um you that's all about practice to getting out getting back into that happy place like I know things can be hard like you can it's easy it's very easy I always say that like it's very easy to stay depressed it's very easy but I think it takes a stronger person to get out of that depression and a stronger person to just you know increase their happy thoughts and become more happy with their life and honestly another way is like to see the good things in your life too we have a habit a lot of like people have a habit of like staying in that negative place and like not knowing how to like view the things in their life that make them happy or the people in their life that try to make them happy like like with me like I have a problem with when I'm angry or when I'm mad I kind of like take it out on people that are close to me or like not even like that like my mom like I'll be mean to her and I notice that a lot like I'm like when I'm going through things it's not that I try to be mean to her but it's like I feel like she tries to like be nice and like try to appreciate get me to appreciate her you know because she's she's a sweet person and sometimes I don't realize that you know and I'm working on that you know I'm starting to realize that she's one of the things that makes me happy you know and the people that tries to make me happy but I don't realize it sometimes but yeah just focusing on the things that do make you happy things that you like to do and I know like when you're depressed you don't want to do the things that you like to do but that's what we need to work on is doing the things that you like to do forcing yourself to do things that you like to do if you like to draw paint if you like to go to the movies or you know do that by yourself like if that makes you happy that makes you happy of course like and what else um uh oh another way is getting myself together like i just started to learn how to do my makeup like how i look right here <laughs> and you know that is like giving me self-confidence like learning how to do my makeup learning well not really learning but how to dress up but i love to dress up so you know even if i'm just going out with my friends to the store or like to the going out to eat i always like to dress up because that makes me feel better about myself and it makes me feel like I don't know it just makes me feel good <laughs> also working out is a great way to cope with anxiety and depression because working out makes you feel so much better I started to work out way more this year and it just gives you I don't know it just gives you I don't know like good spirit I guess because like you're releasing like good endorphins and like I don't know <laughs> shoot working out makes me feel better um uh what else working out eating right too I'm a vegetarian. I am an unhealthy vegetarian, though. But I know when I start to eat right, when it comes to like, being, you know, when it when I'm a vegetarian, I mean, yeah. getting some time. Since I am a vegetarian, like sometimes I do have those ways where, where like I start to eat really healthy out of nowhere if I'm not eating junk because I love sweets. Oh my god, I want some cake. But um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when I do eat healthy and I like, you know. I drink more water and stuff I start to feel better too I don't feel slouchy I don't want to sleep all day you know um that's another reason why I started this YouTube channel too again because I was like it's keeping me busy you know it's making me like I guess I feel more motivated to like get my life together and my myself you know but um I think that's all for now I do appreciate everyone that's watching. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ivory Chanel. And on Facebook, Hair by Ivory Chanel. That's my page for my hair. I'm going to put it down below. Also, um, on Instagram, I have my hair page, Hair by Ivory Chanel. If you need your hair done, let me know. Sometimes I do house calls. Sometimes they come to me. It's all about, you know, where they live and what I want to do. But yeah. I really do appreciate you all. <laughs> please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this helped. If it did help, please let me know. Drop some comments. Add me on Instagram. Add me. You know. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs>
All right, I'm comfortable now. <laughs> hey guys, today I wanted to do a video on how I cope or deal with depression and, and anxiety. Depression and anxiety. So, like, I mean, like, with 